So guys, this is Jay from the Crypto Wire coming back to you with more bullish cryptocurrency news for beginners in 2021. Now, before I get started, I just want to say my disclaimers before I get in trouble. All right. So remember, nothing I say in the video is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. It is very important that you guys do your research because there's a lot of risk involved when it comes to trading cryptocurrencies. Now, today's topic is all about mass adoption. With the recent news that Elon Musk shared just a couple days ago, it pretty much just pulled the whole entire market. Bitcoin went from like 56,000 down to like 45,000. And if you guys are new to uh, cryptocurrency, Bitcoin is basically the poster boy for you know, crypto. Wherever Bitcoin goes, cryptocurrency, the rest of the altcoins follow. Um, if you don't believe me, just look into it yourself. You can even watch the charts. When Bitcoin does a big pullback, trust me, the whole entire space is going to be doing a pullback. Why and how? Well, you know, these bots, they can move the market really, really fast. Like within 45 minutes, you can see these bots pulling 20% of the market. And that's not, it's not even a lie. <laughs> when I... When you've been in cryptocurrency as long as I have, you will definitely see. And corrections such as like up to 20%, 30%, 40%, they're very normal. And when it does happen, I rejoice because why? Dips are great buying opportunities, especially for cryptocurrencies because this is going to be the new um, form of uh, payments as well as it's going to be the new money. It is basically going to be the backbone of the fourth industrial revolution. All right. So today I'm going to be talking about some mass adoption news. Let's get started. Nope. I don't want to get started with that. All right. Here we have 8.7 trillion asset manager BlackRock expects Bitcoin to be part of the investment arena for years to come. Do I believe that? Yes. Bitcoin is not going anywhere. In terms of use cases, it might get replaced by a bunch of other altcoins. However, uh, just as a means of store of value, Bitcoin is not going around. I mean, it's not going away. Now, in terms of payment, Bitcoin might take a back seat on that and just be pegged towards another cryptocurrency called Lightning Bitcoin, which is going to be used for the masses to do Bitcoin transactions. Okay, um, and remember that is not financial advice, but please do look into LBTC, Lightning Bitcoin, currently being offered at MXC.com right now. Um, I think last time I checked on it, which was a couple days ago, it was trading around two to three dollars. Its previous all-time high, which occurred a couple years ago, was around six hundred dollars. So, does it have a long way to go? Hell yes. Can it make money? Hell yes. But yes, do your own research, guys. So, yeah, definitely all these big uh, investment firms like BlackRock are definitely going to be putting their money in cryptocurrencies, a lot of it. And also, keep in mind, guys, that these big investment firms, they don't like to lose. So, wherever they go, definitely do follow. And remember, that's not financial advice either. Okay? But also... Please do be careful with the things that they say in the narratives because they love to trick people. Do not uh, so much um, follow what they say, just follow what they're doing, okay? And yeah, once you've been reading the market for some time, you can definitely see when they're being full of crap and when they're actually telling the truth. And are they telling the truth about this one? being um having bitcoin in the investment arena for years to come yeah definitely bitcoin is not going anywhere all right moving forward with other mass adoption news we have dogecoin pumping up because coinbase said they might list it and with the coinbase um magical touch anything that gets listed in coinbase just naturally goes up guys all multiple times it has never failed so yeah once again that's not financial advice 
do look into Coinbase as well as its uh, list of Coinbase ventures that have yet to be listed in Coinbase because you could be making some easy money there. All right, moving forward. Here we have GoodFi Advisory Board attracting 12, uh, 12, 22 executives from Chainlink, Aave, Radix, Mstable, and other leading DeFi projects. Is this a good news? Hell yes. Now, what exactly or who exactly is GoodFi? GoodFi is a non not-for-profit organization created by Radix with the mission of getting 100 million people into DeFi by 2025. That is very ambitious news. Announced today, by, uh, today the addition of 22 executives to its advisory board from DeFi industry leaders such as Chainlink, which is an oracle, Aave, they're in yeah, DeFi, they do a lot of loans, staking, all that stuff, SushiSwap, uh, which is a decentralized exchange, Avalanche, smart contracts platform, very scalable as well. Um, do look into it as Ethereum prices are going up and being more congested. I do expect a lot of projects to transition to Avalanche as well. And Mstable. So their mission is getting 100 million people into DeFi by 2025. That is basically, they have a four years um, goal plan right here. So is this going to happen? I definitely do think so. And when it comes to the six degrees of separation, I definitely do think that they're gonna hit more than 100 million people because by the time they hit, like let's say the first 10 people, they educate them about DeFi, get them convinced. By the time they start moving on to the next 10, those 10 people that they convince, they're gonna be telling their friends and family about what they just learned. So it's definitely gonna have um, like a, uh, a pandemic effect. <laughs> yes, think of the six degrees of separation as the pandemic effect. Now, um, I want to give you guys the list of executives that they pulled out because those people are just, wow, okay? I don't know how they were able to do this, but if you can pull, if you can basically convince like 22 projects to take out some of their good guys to form a new project for mass adoption, definitely do look into it. And there's definitely a lot of um, big things happening in the background. Now, let me give you guys the list of people. I'm going to do my best to pronounce them for you. If I do get it wrong, don't get offended. Yeah, don't be a soy boy. Anyways, Michael Zacharski, kind of account executive in Chainlink. You have Trent Barnes, uh, he's the principal in ZeroCap. Clayton Menzel, the head of marketing and content in Figment.io. James Simpson, co-founder of Mstable. Fav Altman, um, global community lead in Mstable. Isaac Rodgin, Head of Business Development in Fuse.io. You have Amanda Joki, who is the Business Development and Marketing Lead in SushiSwap. Rachel Chu, Project Management Lead in SushiSwap. Uh, Oma Case, who is a core developer in SushiSwap. Oh man, I got a burp right here. Oh, excuse me. And we have Alex Wern, the CEO of IDEX. Wow, these guys are pulling CEOs too. You have Pierce Ridyard, who is another CEO and from Radix. Um, Isa Kivlingan, Kivligan, Digital Marketing Manager and Ave. Oh yes, my name, Jay Kur, uh, Kurahashi Sofui, VP of Marketing in Ava Labs. You have Adam Sim Simmons, head, head of Strategy from Radix. You have Kai Lu. <laughs> Hi Lou. Oh man, sorry. That was just a childhood show that I used to watch. Anyways, uh, CEO of DAP.com. You have Albert Castellana, who is another CEO from StakeHound. Jonas Lamis, another CEO from StakerDAO. You have Sid Powell, CEO of Maple Finance. I've, I've read this name before. I don't know too much about Sid Powell, but I have read his name many many times before i'm definitely going to look into sid powell some more anyways moving forward we got lawrence till who's the managing who was the former managing director of net zero capital um scott trowbridge co-founder of blockswap network jacob kowalewski chief strategy officer in turn uh milana valmont co-founder and ceo of kira network 
and you have Dan Reeser, VP of Growth from Akala Network. Guys, those are big people, man. These are big ass executives just forming one project. So I definitely do think that GoodFi is one of those projects to really look into because their main goal is for is to get more people on board into decentralized finance. And are they going to be putting I do definitely see the central banks pushing more money into this because those guys want people involved in cryptocurrency so that way everyone is tracked and if you guys and when you guys start getting involved in cryptocurrencies more one of the things or narratives that you will hear is banking the unbanked which basically means um, they want to be able to monetize people globally now currently right now with the current banking system is that you have uh, people in third world countries that do not have access to any sort of banks with the new world economy um, they're ensuring that in order for people to you know use cryptocurrencies they have to give everyone um, easy access to internet as well as access to cryptocurrencies and one of the ways they're doing that is by launching all these different satellites. And yes, they are using um, uh, SpaceX, Space, uh, yeah, SpaceX to launch all these um, different satellites uh, in orbit, as well as um, different routers or base, anything that like transmits Wi-Fi across the globe. And you have Helium too, which is another blockchain project putting hotspots in the globe and yes if you do own a hot uh, helium hotspot you are earning uh, free helium just by adding um, coverage of the network and um, yeah that is that is all I have for you today guys um, in terms of mass adoption um, if you guys ah, man this is like my fourth video it's hard for me to talk if you guys are looking for more um, bullish cryptocurrency news just press like subscribe and do press the um, bell button because it does notify you when I post a new video and um, I will be posting a new pick later on today so please do stay tuned for that one because it might make you some money all right remember nothing I stated in this video is financial advice it's up to you guys to do your own research because I cannot do the thinking for you. I can lead you to the well, but I cannot drink, make you drink the water. All right? You guys have to make that decision yourself. And you can do that better when you do your own research. And that is all I have for you today, guys. If you guys want to be more updated and um, be more in touch with me, please do um, join my Discord channel. It is free for one channel. And if you want access to some of the other channels that have um, a list of cryptocurrency picks that have made me and some of the people that follow me a lot of money, um, yeah, do look into joining my Patreon as well. It does support the channel as well as give you access to um, on-demand data when it comes to cryptocurrency as well as my crypto picks, all right? And yes, my Discord channel is um, designed in a manner for you guys to learn cryptocurrency much faster because I have all these guides for you guys to uh, learn. And yep, it is organized for you guys to, um, to look into a lot easier. And yeah, once again, that is all I have for you. Press like and subscribe if you like what you're listening to. And also share this around as well. It does help the channel. And also, if you have any suggestions, any comments, just... Type it down below. I will look into it and respond to you as soon as possible. And once again, thank you guys for listening. I will have more news coming up. Take care, everyone. Have a nice day.